Hello, welcome to a new creature tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover the new make animation loop using the FK motor conversion functionality to make your procedural creature animation loop perfectly. All right, so let's begin. So typically, when you animate with creature, you use the procedural motor system, like in this fox animation over here, to animate stuff like the secondary motion on the tail, and it looks very realistic. The only issue is if you wanted to make it loop perfectly, you might be setting some parameter values blindly or setting the frame ranges blindly to make it work. So there is a new functionality in Creature that just was introduced called the Make Animation Loop function that will allow you to actually easily loop your animation automatically without doing going through all that painful process. Okay, but before I continue, I want to say that there is already another function, a more advanced functionality in Creature called the Animation Loop Analysis tool, which also allows you to find the best looping frame ranges. So please explore the option if you want a more advanced option. However, today I'm going to cover the simpler and I, I and probably recommended option for beginners called the Animation Loop tool, because this is very, very simple to use, which we'll see in a moment. So let's take a look at the Fox animation right now. So this is the Falk animation, and we have secondary motion running on the tail using bone physics bolters. Okay, so our goal today is to actually make it loop. Now, if you look at the animation rig graph, you notice that we have a bunch of motors going through the system, right? And we have, in particular, the mesh band physics motor, the bone motors, going through the tail and parts of the flesh and all that. So we're actually going to make it loop perfectly right now. It's not actually looping perfectly. If you notice, when it goes to frame zero, it cuts into the starting frame. Okay, so we're going to make this run loop. So very easy. How do we do this? Move your mouse over to the Make Animation Loop icon. Click on it, and you'll pre be presented with a window. So there are a couple of options you can play with. The first one is Blend Frames. So this option determines how the animation will be looped by blending in to the beginning frames of the animation. So we're going to blend the ending frames of the animation to the starting frames of the animation. That's essentially how the convert to FK and loop function works. Now, the higher you set this value, the more your animation will be trimmed, okay? So you see in a moment what happens. So if I set this value to 30, it's going to clip the animation. It's going to start the animation at frame 30, and it's going to blend the ending frames into the starting frames to make it perfectly loop. So let's give that a go right now. The other option, before I click OK, the other option is the convert detail option. And this determines how detailed the conversion actually is, right? So it's going to write everything back into FK motors and keyframes. So if you set it to the maximum, it's going to give you a very detailed conversion process. If you reduce it, it is actually going to do some keyframe reduction and mesh, and, sorry, and animation spline simplification. But for all intents and purposes for the demo today or the tutorial today, I'm going to set it to max. And then I'm going to click OK. OK, so first thing you notice, the animation has been clipped or trimmed to frame 31. It's now starting at 31 and it's ending at 150. And if you look at the preview animation, you can already see it's looping. And let me play the full animation right now. And as you can see, it's actually looping perfectly because the system has automatically figured out for you how to blend and loop the animation between ending and starting frames. And that's really all it is to this tool. It's extremely easy to use. And let me undo this. We can try different values. We can try different values of the looping, sorry, of the blend range. If I reduce the blend range, for example, if I set it to 20, it will trim less and it also blend at a different frame, right? So you notice the blend that it's looping, but because we we are blending at frame at 20 frames, it doesn't loop that well, right? So I encourage you to play around with the different blend frame blend frame values. So in this case, frame 30 frames is actually a perfect blending value. If I go back to OK and I play it again, you notice that the loop is now the looping animation now looks valid. Okay, and if we examine the final results of the loop conversion process, we notice that all the animation has now been converted into FK motors, right? It's all FK over here, and you can see very clearly that all the knots and animation splines have been written into the key knots animation spline sheets, right? So you can, so these all have all these have all been converted into animation animation splines. As you can see from here, let me make this window larger, right? So now we have a set of animation splines 
that are all converted to keyframe FK motors that you can tweak to your heart's content. So that is the power of the make animation loop via the FA, FK conversion process tool. And so you can make loop animations very, very easily, even when using a physics-based procedural animation system. So that's really all it is. I hope you find this feature very useful, and happy animating.